Hey everyone, welcome to Cycle Scenery. Now you may have already watched my unboxing video where I took this Sigma Cycle computer out of the box. But what I'm going to demonstrate now is how to install it on an indoor bicycle trainer. Now obviously when you're training indoors, your, real, your rear tire is spinning, but your front tire is not. Typically with a cycle computer, if you were using it for a road bike or a mountain bike, you would typically mount it on the front wheel because of the convenience of also mounting the cycle computer display. Uh, but in this scenario, we need to mount it on the rear wheel. So I'm just opening the bag uh, that came with the, uh, uh, with the cycle computer. And it's got some other things you can use as well. It came with... Uh, it, it came with the... Uh, what am I trying to say? The It came with zip ties and it also came with rubber bands. And the rubber bands are less permanent, so I'm going to use that. And the first thing you're going to do, it's got this little black piece. This is the magnet. And you're going to attach it to your spoke. It'll just pop in. Only to your spoke, not to the little end piece. So put that on there. Once you got that on there, uh, then you can push it up against the uh, little part that screws in. I don't know what you call it. But you don't want to go over that. So just the uh, you know, put it on the spoke itself and then as far up as it can go without going over the the little, uh, I don't know if you call it a nipple or what you call it. I think they may call it a nipple. Okay, so put that up there. And then the, uh, the part that's attached to the cord, because this isn't a wireless model, it's got a cord. Typically, you would mount the other end of that on your handlebars and put the cycle computer on it. But since we're mounting on the rear wheel, I don't think, I'm pretty sure this will be too short uh, to reach up there, but we'll see. So yeah, this, as you can see, this would be way too short to reach from the rear wheel uh, to the front of the bike. So we've got two options. What we could do is just mount it, um, you know, and leave the uh, leave the cycle computer on the ground for indoor training. I mean, obviously your bike's not going to move when you're indoors. So just mount this on your on your rear uh, on the rear piece of your frame, and then you can use the included rubber band. Uh, to secure it so it won't move around. And what you want to do is spin your uh, spin your wheel and make sure that the magnet it says uh, the gap should be no more than a quarter of an inch so you'll probably even turn it towards the uh, towards the magnet you know. Obviously, you don't want them to make contact with one another, but you don't want a, uh, you know, a gap. As it said, you don't want a gap greater than a quarter inch. Oh, this makes it easy. This is a 700 by 23 C tire, so I will use the setting right here. So I'm gonna. I'm going to highlight that and then I'm going to get the computer. Okay, so all you do is hold down the leftmost button and that's going to uh, that's going to start the settings. Just hold it down for a few seconds. So I selected my language and then I hit the button again to acknowledge it was okay.
And when I'm selecting kilometers or miles per hour, So when it starts flashing, you can change it, and you can change it with the top right button. And then you confirm. Okay, wheel size, here we go. Now it's gone to wheel size, and that's where I enter what I'd entered there, which is 2133 for for mine. <clears throat> it's actually tracking distance and everything. So that's an easy way to rig a cycle computer to an indoor trainer. Now obviously with this being a wired cycle computer you want to make sure that you don't have wires in a place where they can get into your wheel and break the uh, system so what I'm going to do is just kind of go around here or actually you know what I think well, I don't know because you really don't have to mount this to your bike I was trying to think the best way and routing the cable will be up to you however you want to route this because it's uh, you know you just you need to make sure it doesn't get in your wheel when the wheel's spinning so I'm gonna play with that outside of the video uh, the main thing is this works and this is how you can mount a uh, a cycle computer to an indoor cycling trainer uh, thanks for watching and enjoy all of the CycleScenery.com videos. Y'all have a good day.